Hi, I am Paul Edouard Sarlin, and in this video, I will tell you about our paper GeoCalib, learning single image calibration with geometric optimization. This work was led by Alexander Weich in collaboration with Philip Lindenberger, Mark Poliface, and myself. Camera calibration is about estimating the mathematical model that describes how images are formed in a given camera. This is required for many image-based 3D applications. This model is parameterized by intrinsic parameters, which often include the focal length and lens distortion parameters. The problem of calibration has been extensively studied and many tools are now available. They generally require capturing many images from various viewpoints in controlled conditions with calibration targets like checkerboards. When this is not possible, photogrammetry and structure for motion can estimate a calibration from images captured in uncontrolled conditions. This, however, still requires multiple images observing the same scene, which is not always possible. Even then, the calibration can fail because of degenerate motions or structures, which are prevalent in crowdsourced imagery. More generally, camera calibration can also include extrinsic parameters like the gravity direction, which defines a canonical orientation with two degrees of freedom. We can actually estimate the camera calibration from a single image using visual cues such as straight lines, curves, and vanishing points. Existing algorithms for single image calibration are based on line detectors, geometric solvers, and classical optimization. They are very accurate, but limited to man-made environments in which dominant orthogonal directions are visible, which include indoor and urban spaces. When few lines are visible, such as in natural environments, these algorithms fail catastrophically. They also struggle with lens distortion because lines become curves, this low robustness significantly impairs their wide adoption. Alternatively, some research has tackled this problem with deep neural networks trained in a supervised manner to estimate the calibration parameters. These approaches can leverage many more geometric and semantic cues and thus exhibit an impressively high robustness. To generalize well to different environments, they however require large amounts of training data that is costly to acquire. They are also far less accurate than the classical counterparts based on 3D geometry. Intuitively, each neural network needs to relearn projective geometry from scratch when trained. In this work, we introduced GeoCalib, a neural network that combines the best of both classical and learned approaches to estimate the gravity direction and the camera intrinsics given a single image. GeoCalib learns to steer an optimization process using geometric and semantic cues learned end-to-end. -end. This optimization is based on well-known principles of projective 3D geometry. This makes GeoCalib both more robust and more accurate than existing approaches. We build on top of perspective fields, which are an over-parameterized, pixel-wise representation of the camera parameters. It consists of two components. First, the latitude is the angle between the viewing ray, here shown in blue, and the horizontal plane, here shown in red. This angle is shown in green and is intuitively zero on the horizon line. Second, the up vector is the projection of the up direction into the image plane and is shown as a green arrow. It corresponds to the direction of vertical lines, but it is not limited to them. This representation is more general and can be inferred in a wider range of environments. In GeoCalib, this perspective field is predicted by a neural network given an input image. We want to find the calibration parameters that best explain the observed perspective field. Given some initial parameters, we can render a new field and compare it to the estimation of a neural network. We would then like to adjust the parameters such that the two perspective fields are identical. It is difficult to estimate a perspective field for all pixels, such as in textureless areas like the sky. We thus let the neural network predict a pixel-wise confidence, which we can use to weight the comparison. To find the optimal calibration parameters, we consider a least squares optimization problem between observed and rendered perspective fields, and we solve it using the Levaber Markward algorithm, 
which is an iterative second-order solver. This optimization is differentiable, so GeoCalib is trained end-to-end -end by supervising the estimated camera parameters. The confidences are thus learned to steer the optimization towards the correct solution. We also supervise the estimated perspective field for faster convergence. We visualize the confidences learned by GeoCalib for the two components of a perspective field. Regions in red are deemed useful for the optimization, while regions in blue are ignored. The a vector is most confident in your vertical lines or upright objects like trees and buildings. The latitude is most confident near the horizon, and this horizon is actually not clearly visible in many of these images. Like previous research, we train GeoCalib on perspective images rendered from panoramas. However, previous research uses datasets that are proprietary and is thus not reproducible. We thus assembled our own training dataset from free public sources such that GeoCalib is fully reproducible. We evaluate GeoCalib on multiple benchmarks that include images taken by various devices in indoor and outdoor scenes. For each of them, we plot on the x-axis the accuracy of a field of view at 5 degrees, which is related to the focal length. In the y-axis, we plot the accuracy of a gravity at 5 degrees. Approaches based on deep learning are shown in blue, and the best classical approach is shown in red. GeoCalib consistently outperforms all existing approaches by a large margin in terms of both gravity and field of view. Relying on classical optimization also has multiple practical benefits over black box neural networks. First, the least square optimization can estimate uncertainties for the calibration parameters as a covariance matrix. This uncertainty can flag examples for which the estimate is likely wrong, for example due to poor geometry constraints in the optimization or to low confident visual cues, such as when there is motion blur or no texture. This makes GeoCalib more interpretable. Here we sort a few examples by increasing gravity uncertainty from left to right and we report the ground truth error in red. The uncertainty, which is shown in black, correlates very well with it. Second, our approach is not tied to a specific camera model. We can train GeoCalib with a given model but optimize a different one at inference time without having to retrain GeoCalib. For example, GeoCalib trained only with pinhole images, here in purple, can handle images with radial distortion better than all previous approaches trained with distorted images, in green and red. Of course, adding such images to the training dataset improves the accuracy further, as shown with the yellow bar. As a third benefit of optimization, GeoCalib can leverage prior knowledge of some parameters. For example, the camera intrinsics can be found in the EXIF metadata or estimated by structure for motion, such that GeoCalib needs to estimate the gravity only. GeoCalib can use these intrinsics as a hard constraint by fixing the parameters or as a soft prior with a regularization term. Our experiments show that this can further improve the accuracy of the remaining parameters to a large extent and consistently in all benchmarks. When the focal length is known, the gravity estimated gets more accurate. Conversely, when the gravity is known, the field of view is more accurately estimated. Finally, GeoCalib can couple the optimization across multiple images. For example, images captured by the same camera share identical intrinsic parameters, which should be optimized jointly, while the gravity direction is different in each image. Unlike classical geometry tools, the images don't need to have any visual overlap. As shown by the red curves, this joint optimization improves the estimation of both gravity and intrinsics as more images are included. This would not be possible with a black box neural network, which can only average the camera intrinsics over the images. Um, and as shown in the blue curve, this is not beneficial. To conclude this video, GeoCalib is a new approach to single image calibration. It is more robust and more accurate than existing approaches thanks to a combination of deep learning and geometric optimization. This optimization has multiple benefits that make it easier to use GeoCalib in practical application. The code and the weights are publicly available with a permissive license.
Thanks for watching.